and welcome back to my video. So as you can tell by the title, I'm doing a dance hacks video. I'm super excited for this. And can I just say that I have been wanting to do this video for literally, I'm not exaggerating, two years. Um, so yeah, I've been over the years collecting and figuring out new hacks and tips for you guys. And it's all in my pink book. So yeah, before we start, make sure you guys subscribe down below and press that bell if you do want more videos from me. And yeah, let's get started. So when you're doing a bun, don't you always feel like your bun is very loose and the pins aren't really doing anything? Well, to help that, I suggest putting in a bobby pin before you do the actual twist bun. So you want to put it above and below the ponytail and if you want to, you can put it on the sides as well so it's like a little box. But it's up to you. So this is basically going to help the pins latch onto something so then it will stay nice and firm and tight in the bun. Hack number two is again using a bobby pin. So I use this hack genuinely for the drawstring of the shoes I'm using at the moment because I always find it is so hard to undo knots. You basically just put in one um, side of the bobby pin into the knot. Trust me, it helps so much when you use a bobby pin to undo the knot. When I did RED exams, I always wanted my demi points to be as clean as possible, but I wanted it to still be really broken in and soft so I can move my feet properly in them. So basically, I was allowed to do this. You must check with your dance school if you can, but putting socks over your demi points or any types of flats you have will help keep them clean, but at the same time, it will let you and allow you to break them in as much as you want. Number four is using the flexi stretcher. So if you have seen my video, which I'll link up there, you might have seen the arabesque stretch that I do with it. So if you want to do more of an intense stretch, I suggest doing this bar version. So you basically want to put one side on the bar and one side on your foot, and it's going to just give you an over split stretch. This is more for ponches, not arabesques, but if you want more of a stretch, do that version. So hack number five is using sticky tape to help as a guideline for your winged eyeliner. Hello and welcome to my dance hacks dream adventures. So we're gonna get sticky tape. <laughs> we're gonna put it underneath your eyelashes so they don't stick. And from there, you can do your perfect wing liner. It is such a good guideline for wing liner. So long, I will see you next time. So this is really good for beginners and it's also as well going to help prevent the eyeshadow from smearing out. So this is a great tip and I use it all the time when I do my eye makeup. Number six is using hairspray on ladders in your tight helps it to stop it uh, getting bigger because um, you all know those ladders and the tights get bigger and bigger when you pull it. I have a ginormous one in one of my pairs of tights right now. So, mm. I don't have a ladder on my tights right now, but basically if you do spray at the point where you have a ladder and it will totally stop them from getting bigger. And the reason why I don't have a ladder is because I have the amazing computer tights on. Oh. <laughs> so the next hack 
is more of a tip. So basically, all I want to say is keep your toenails short when you're on point. You do not want to have long nails at all. It will hurt so much and it might even split your nails or even bend them over the top if they're too long. So I just always suggest having short nails when you are on point. The next hack is to use a correction book. This is super useful when you are given corrections for classical solos or any estep dances you have. This is going to help keep the corrections in your head and it will help you remember them for your next lesson coming up. This is, these are my corrections from like last week, so yeah. And also, do you like my um, pen? It's from Kmart. Not Target, it's from Kmart. <laughs> Hack number nine is going to help you from not slipping on the slippery floor. <laughs> Putting water on your shoes is going to help stop the sliding slipperiness on the floor. So if you do not have rosin, use water. It will do the trick perfectly. So hack number 10. Using music when you are not feeling it, you do not want to do exercise and stretches, music will help you so much get inspired and want you to stretch. It will also help with the counts of the beat when you're doing ab work. That is really random, but it does help. That's what I do all the time. I like doing my ab work to the music, like beat one, two, three. <laughs> it's so random, but it really does help me stretch and do all my exercises. So basically, rotating your point shoes is going to keep them even longer and last longer than just if you were using the one pair. Especially in Australia when it's hot, it's good to rotate to let them dry. And it will also make them last longer and that is the best thing about rotating your point shoes. And then you won't have to spend more money on point shoes, so win-win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hack number 12, yes we're up to 12, so we're nearly done. The next one is eating almonds and drinking lots of water for when you get cramps. Me, myself, I get quite a few toe cramps when I'm on point and these little two tricks of drinking water and eating more almonds will help with cramps. Welcome again to Talia's Dream Hacks. So, <laughs> the next one is drinking water. The last hack I have for you guys is to use a sponge instead of a spray bottle to wet your hair for when you're doing your hair in the morning. So if you've lost your spray bottle, I definitely suggest get a sponge. Any type will be fine. Um, so make sure it's clean as well because that will be pretty funny if it's dirty. <laughs> so get a tap if you have a water bottle full of water. Perfect. So just basically wet it. And obviously you want to know what your hair. See how it's not wetting my face? And it's very good to pinpoint spots that you want wet. And if you wanted to, I also like to wrap the sponge around the hair. There we go. It looks pretty wet now. So now I can start with my usual ways of doing my hair for ballet. So that concludes my dance hack video for you guys. Make sure you do thumbs it up if you found it helpful. And of course, subscribe down below to my family. Ah. <laughs> I guess I don't have much to say. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be a follow along video. So there's a little secret for you guys. <laughs> All right, bye. You can even, okay, let me just start again. Ugh. <laughs>